Hey there, this is Kay Thompson on Karma Dog Speak, and look what I have. I have the new Halo 3, and I'm super excited to go ahead and open it today. If you take a look, this is the new Halo 3, released by Halo as of September 1st, and I'm super excited to unbox this today. So let's see what we have. All right, slide this open. Now, Halo is supported by, and the training system is developed by, of course, Caesar Milan. And he's kind of one of the celebrity promoters of this product. Inside of the box. This is the New Orchid Halo Color 3. They also have a sunburst yellow. And let's take a look. So, for the collar itself, this is looking great. It looks like this has been shifted a little bit. This isn't as shiny now, it's more of a matte finish. And the collar, of course, opens up right here. We get a USB C to USB-C, and I don't know what this is for just yet. This is the new magnetic charging port. This is one portion, oh, cool. I see what it is. So they changed their charging port in the Halo 3, and this is the adapter for a USB-C, probably for traveling. Of course, we have a beacon. This is to help uh, train your pet as well as identify for your pet certain areas you may not want them to go and or if you're going on a walk, you want to carry it with you, it can create kind of a geofence for you. Of course, we have the prongs for the static and that is what is in the box. So let's take a look. Now the Halo collar comes with these tied in and you can just unscrew these to put your static piece on it. Here is the new magnetic charging port, and that is to make it easier to charge so we don't have as much damage. You're also going to notice that that also keeps the uh, Halo Collar waterproof. It comes with this beautiful sheath of this nice orchid. We're going to pull this right off. is a really nice canvas fit. And of course, there's the collar. And the collar is adjustable right over here, okay? To right size your dog. And yeah, the collar looks awesome. Now I've owned this collar, I've owned the Halo 1, Halo 2, and Halo 3. I have a lot of experience with this collar. One of the reasons I talk about it on this channel is because I actually really love this collar. It runs $6.99 right now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew the contact points that are right here. If you have trouble with those, the best thing to do is just a pair of needle nose pliers. But this collar has been a huge game changer for me and my pets. Um, I have one for Vivi and one for Cosmo. I'm gonna tell you the cost difference. The cost difference for an invisible fence is about $1,400. This runs half of that. That's not including the actual collar for the invisible fence. Battery life on this so far, um, I have one on Cosmo, which is the gray one, and the battery life on it has been yielding 20 to 25 hours. I charge it every single night, and it is a great tool for allowing my pet to have some freedom within his boundaries. I can set up to 20 different fences anywhere that I go, and actually, they have extended coverage now worldwide. Here's the prongs. Just slide those in. You don't want to over tighten them. And I would check these time to time. And now, what we're going to do is fit the collar. Now, Halo has also come out with a quick fit system, which 
basically is a printout, a PDF, and then you can measure the collar amongst your dog. It fits up to 30.2 circumference of a neck. For Vivi, I'm just gonna measure against her older collar because that seems to fit her quite well. Now this rubber is very strong and if you end up using, if there's all this excess, you can actually cut that off. I'm just gonna take Vivi's collar here. It is exactly the same size. This is kind of where all the brains are of the collar itself. The major difference, do, do, do. Ah, yeah. And what I'm noticing is there is no extra slack with the Halo 2. There is this extra slack on the left and on the right. It seems that this is a little bit more secured along the dog's neckline and measured to that. Right, so we gotta take off a good chunk. Come here, babe. No, Cosmo, you've already got one. Now, Vivi, come. For Vivi, what I'm gonna do is fit her to the collar right now. And I wanna make sure that speaker is underneath her neck. And then I just wanna go ahead and click it. What I'm looking for are two fingers that are gonna fit under here fairly snugly. I want to make sure her contact points are engaged. And that actually feels, that feels good. Look at how pretty. We just got to cut this off, right? We're just going to cut that extra stuff off. Yeah. Good girl with a pretty necklace. So now that I have this fit, I have this extra slack. It's not a big deal. I'm going to actually trim it off a little bit out here and just slide that under ability. Now this will actually unscrew right here. So you can open up this little pocket. Slide that under. And now that it's all tucked under, just like that, we're gonna go ahead and screw that back in. I recommend checking that every once in a while. Sometimes it gets a little loose. Just tighten it up. And it happens to be on both sides. Okay, looks good. All right, I'm going to put back on this canvas cover. Just as a little side note, there's a little area right here, and that's where you want it to pop up. That way you're going to be able to see all the lights and everything, so you should be able to see the power button, the lights, because those are indicator lights, and then just make sure you tighten up all your Velcro so that no Velcro is exposed, because it's just annoying to get caught up in the dog's fur. And there we go. Okay, so it's all ready for Vivi. Now to set up your collar, you're going to notice there's basically four simple steps. It's really that easy. Now you'll still have to go ahead and make a boundary. Of course, you can do that at 20 different fences, anywhere that you want. But to set it up, you download the app and you will be all good to go. Now the magnetic charging port, if you look, it's got a little USB-C here, which is nice because then you can travel with a different USB-C. I'm just going to cut this off. Now this says charge warning, important note, you are to use a USB-C, not a USB-A. But the good news is USB-C is becoming the standard. Ooh, that's the nuts. Cool. All right, I'm going to go ahead and plug it in and charge it. And that looks great. I would definitely have a spare one of these for traveling. I'm going to place the link for the Halo 3 down below. I'd appreciate it if you used my code and, of course, like and subscribe to my channel. The Halo 3 does have some significant improvements in it, and there's really four that I want to mention. Number one, there's a quick fit system to make it easier to fit your dog. Number two, there's this magnetic charging port to make it easier to keep your collar waterproof. Number three is the GPS accuracy and the use of AI technology. Halo doesn't just use GPS, cellular, it also uses wireless and Bluetooth to locate your dog. It starts to really learn your yard 
and develop a knowledge so that it doesn't give any false feedback. And then the fourth thing I was going to mention is Halo is now working worldwide. So it doesn't matter if you're in Canada or Mexico, it's supposed to be able to connect to any cellular service and connect to the satellite system. So those are some really big improvements. I have worked with Cosmo with the collar. He's now seven and a half months old. He's trained on the collar. He still has moments where he gets still to be a puppy. But I can tell you that what I'm seeing from the Halo Fence Company is their device is excellent. The GPS has been excellent. We've been testing the Halo 3 for the past few months since August. I was actually sent a prototype and it works excellent. The fence line has really been aligned. I haven't had any false feedback at all. Been reading my yard properly. Probably the biggest challenge has been either me as an owner or him as a dog. Of course, training him to understand the boundaries. And sometimes he's just a puppy. He's just interested in other things. But overall, the Halo Collar has been just an awesome fit for our family. I'm really proud to be able to partner with them and to share with you kind of what I've experienced with the Collar. If you have a question or a comment, please put it down below and I will do my best to answer it. Have an awesome day. We'll see you later.